What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We are jumping back into some road at the show here today. We have a three-game set with the Cleveland Guardians coming to town. Now, everybody that's been watching the channel knows I do really well against Cincinnati. I don't really know how well I've done against Cleveland, though. Maybe it's an Ohio, an Ohio thing. I don't know. Top of the first, no score. Runner on first and one away. Jordan Walker is standing in for the Guardians. He's hitting 319 on the season, and he's leading the team in RBI. All right. He's got himself a 2-2 count with Brandon Fott on the mound. We're looking for a routine double play ball here, and we're going to get it. Ground ball to me at third. We'll throw to second. Relay to first. In time. 5-4-3 double play. Retires the side. And we are now moving to the offensive side of things here in the first inning. All right, bottom of the first. I'm batting cleanup today. There's a runner on first and two away. I'm hitting 324 coming into this one. And we have Daniel Espino on the mound for the Guardians. He hits 99 on his four seamer, 96 on his two seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch just misses the inside corner with the curveball. Apparently, I only have eight career RBI against Cleveland, so I haven't played them much, I would say. Second pitch, right down Broadway with a four-seamer, and I can't catch up to that one. It's a one-and-one one count after swinging way too late to catch up to the gas there. Next pitch is a changeup outside. Two-and-one the count for me now. A lot of signs coming out of the dugout there for Cleveland. Next pitch, below the knees with a four-seamer. It's a three-and-one count for me. So am I going to get first base for free? Let's find out. The three-one pitch now from Espino. Oh, had me way out in front of a changeup. How I made contact with that, I'll never know. But we have a full count now with two away, so the runner in first will be on the move. Doesn't matter as the next pitch is a four-seamer high, and it is indeed first base for free. Bottom of the fourth now. Cleveland is leading this one one to nothing. I'm standing in batting 324 with a walk on my line score today. Nobody out, nobody on. Daniel Espino still on the bump for Cleveland. First pitch from him. Gets the call with a slider off the inside corner at the knees. Ooh, oh, and one the count. Next pitch. Watched a four-seamer. That one actually I thought did not tail outside like I thought it was going to, so we have an 0 and 2 count in a hurry. Three. Swing and a miss at a chain or er, change up a four-seamer above the zone there. It's a three-pitch strikeout for me. We got two-thirds of the ginger special going on here. We got the walk, we got the strikeout. Now we just need a home run. Top of the sixth, we come back to it. Still a one-nothing ball game. George Valera is at the plate for the Guardians. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a strikeout and a ground out so far. And he's hitting 242 on the season. He's got himself a 1-1 count with a runner on first and one away. Looks like we're going to get the bunt. It is indeed a drag bunt. We'll scoop it up, throw to first. Quality sacrifice as there is now a runner on second and two away here in the top of the sixth. Bottom half of the inning, we come back. It's a 1-1 ball game now. Runner on second and one away for me as I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day. And they hand me the intentional walk. Man, they are not wanting to deal with me at the plate at all. Even though Espino start, struck me out in three pitches. Earlier in the game, that is. Bottom of the eighth, we come back. 3-1 to one is the score. Cleveland in the lead. Emmanuel Clace is now on the mound for the Guardians out of the bullpen. He hits 102 on the cutter, 93 on the slider, 101 on the four-seamer. First pitch is a 101 four-seamer just off the inside corner. Swung on and missed. Oh, and won the count for me. Second pitch from him. Got a piece of the cutter at the knees. Only a 99-mile-an-hour pitch there, so uh, that was one of his slower ones I'm going to see in this at-bat, I would say. Fouled it off for an 0-2 oh count. Oh, boy. Got to try to avoid the strikeout here as the 0-2 pitch is low and inside with the cutter at an even 100 miles an hour. One and two the count for me, though. Pitch number four of the at-bat. Ripped into center field. Center fielder's going to be able to make the play out near the warning track by the pool. So long and loud first out here in the bottom of the eighth. Not the way we wanted that one to go. So we missed the ginger special by a home run. And the Guardians keep our losing streak alive. It is now seven straight games we have lost. 
as the final score of game number one is 3-2-1. I went 0 for 2 with a pair of walks. One intentional, one not. Ugh, not a great game for us. Let's move on to game number two, though, and you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Bottom of the first in game number two, we're still scoreless. Runner on first, two away. I'm standing in batting 323 on the season. And I get a dynamic challenge because of the man on first, and uh, yeah, we're just going to go for advancing the runner. That will take a base hit. Logan Allen is on the mound for Cleveland in this one. He hits 93 on his four-seamer. Uh, that's all he's got that's quick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, first pitch from him. Another one drilled in the deep center field. This might be off the wall out there. It is high off the wall on the scoreboard. We're going for three. What the heck? Pitch in is a, or the throwback in is a wild one as it got away coming in from the center fielder there. We have an RBI triple here to make it a 1-0 ball game in the bottom of the first. We'll take that any old day of the week. Bottom of the third, we come back. It's a 2-0 ball game. I'm standing in one for one on the day with that RBI triple. There's nobody out and nobody on this time around. Logan Allen is still on the bump for the Guardians. First pitch of this at-bat from the left-hander. And it's a ground ball to short. That's going to be an easy 6-3 play. You betcha. Out is made at first for the first out here in the bottom of the third. Top of the fourth, we come back. Still a 2-0 lead for Arizona. Runner on first and two away for Juan Brito. He's 0 for 1 on the day, and he did reach on an error earlier. Oh, wait, that's the 0 for 1. Yeah, he reached on the error. Duh. It's fine. It's still early. My brain's still waking up. Brito is only hitting 151 on the season, so that is a rather saddening number there. Full count with one on and two away. Ground ball down the third baseline. We're going to scoop it up. Throw to first. He's going to get him. Just barely, but it gets him. So three and a half innings are now complete here in Arizona. And we are leading the Guardians in this one by a score of two to nothing. Bottom of the fourth, we come back. It's a four nothing lead for Arizona. Two outs and nobody on. I'm standing in for the third time today against Logan Allen. First pitch of this at-bat. Oh, sweeping curve froze me there. Just above the knees on the outer third. That was a good location. 0-1 oh, pitch on the way from Allen. That's up and in a little bit with the four-seamer. One and one the count, as I did not offer at that one either. Pitch number three of the at-bat. Oh, got me to go fishing after a circle change below the knees. I got to remember this guy throws really slow here. The one-two pitch. Sweeping curve almost got me again. Late swing, fouled away. Preserves the one and two count. Looking at the fifth pitch of the at-bat now from Allen. And he got me with the high heat. I should have listened to myself. I said looking at the fifth pitch, Ben. I swung at it anyway. So, yeah, that K retires the side. It's a 4 nothing lead for Arizona, though, and we're moving on. It is now the bottom of the sixth. It is a 7-4 ball game with Arizona in the lead currently. I'm standing in one for three on the day. One out, nobody on. Man, this thing has opened up in a hurry in the middle innings. And I get a dynamic challenge. Bases are empty for it, so uh, let's try to only swing at pitches inside the zone. Matt Strom is now on the mound for the Guardians out of the bullpen. He hits 96 on the four-seamer, 95 on his sinker, 90 on the cutter. First pitch from him. Is a four-seamer off the outside corner. There goes the dynamic challenge in the very first pitch. Oh, and won the count for me here. Second pitch from Strom. Oh, high heat got me. Four-seamer just above the zone. Two swings and misses at four-seamers just off the strike zone. 0-2 pitch on the way. Check swing on a slider inside, and yeah. I earned that strikeout, no doubt about it. Uh, three pitches, three swings and misses. And back to the dugout I go with the K next to my name. Top of the seventh, we come back, runner on first and two away for Jose Ramirez. He's one for four on the day with a two-run dinger just an inning ago. He's got himself a two-and-one count against Slade Ciccone. Let's see if we can get ourselves a little ground ball out here. Yeah, it will be. We'll pick it up. Throw to first. Bang, zoom. Seventh inning stretch. Here we come. We're leading 
the uh, Guardians by a score of 7-4 to four in this one. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. Diamondbacks take the win here in game number two and finally get out of that losing streak. 7-4 to four is the final score with Ryan Nelson picking up win number 13 on the season. Adbert Alzale picking up save number 43. He's been a machine in the closing sections of the game. <sighs> All right, let's go to game number three and see who can win the rubber match of this three-game series. I'd like to think we can make something happen here since we finally got out of that seven-game skid. Oh, we're starting game number three with a boss battle challenge. Zach Eflin is on the mound for the Guardians in this one. There's two outs, nobody on. I'm standing in batting 322. Single or better, that sounds like the plan for me. Eflin does throw a 95 mile an hour sinker, 91 on the cutter. And that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch of the at bat from him. Right over the second baseman. Could not jump high enough to make it happen. And we got the single on the first pitch to succeed in the dynamic challenge. How about that? That doesn't happen too often for me. Bottom of the fourth, we come back. Still a scoreless ball game here in Arizona. I'm standing in one for one on the day. One out, nobody on for me here in the bottom of the fourth. Zach Eflin is only throwing pitch number 30 of his outing so far. Wow. And there's another one grooved into right center field. We're going for two on that one. As it rolls all the way to the warning track near the pool. We have a single and a double now in this one. And uh, Eflin is supposed to be a really good pitcher, but apparently I'm seeing his pitches quite well today. All right, we come back bottom of the seventh. Cleveland is out in front five to nothing, the score currently. I'm standing in two for two on the day, three for eight on the series. There's nobody out and nobody on, and I got a belly full of Cracker Jacks, so why not have the dynamic challenge here? And uh, single or better, that's the name of the game for me. Zach Eflin still on the mound for the Guardians, only throwing pitch number 57 of his outing. We pull one to the third baseman there, throw across the diamond, will get me by a step and a half there. One pitch, one out here in the bottom of the seventh. The bottom of the ninth, we come back, it's a five to two ball game now. Cleveland's still leading. I'm standing in two for three on the day, three for nine on the series. Tanner Scott is now on the bump for the Guardians in this one. And uh, I get another dynamic challenge. Um, I don't know. Now let's try to only swing at pitches inside the zone. Why the heck not? Tanner Scott, though, does throw a 99-mile-an-hour four-seamer, 97 on the sinker, only 87 on the slider. First pitch from him is that slider on the outside corner. I think I was out in front by just a little bit there. Oh, and won the count for me. Second pitch is going to be low and away with the slider. Coming from a lefty, that's a lot easier to lay off of. If it was a right-handed pitcher be a different story but slider in the inner third there cut on and missed one and two the count who's going to vote for a low sinker nope high heater instead swing and a miss strike out for me i believe that completes the hat trick in this one Ugh. yeah game number three started off so good did not end so well as the guardians win game number three five to two as dean kramer takes his ninth loss on the season so, uh, yeah, two for four day at the plate for me, three for ten on the series. Not exactly great, but, uh, you know, when the team isn't doing good, the team's not doing good. So uh, I'll take my three for ten series because that's all I'm going to be able to get out of it. And, yeah, the series is over. That also means that this episode is over. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.